Hey guys, in this video I'll be telling you how I smell good all day. If you like self-care content, lifestyle content, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any uploads similar to this one. So I'm going to start off by giving you guys my routine of what I do. I'm going to tell you what I do every single day, every single week, and I want to start off with my favorite type of perfume to use every single day. So if you haven't heard of Dossier, it is a brand where they give cheaper alternatives to high-end perfumes. So you can find a lot of alternatives for some very expensive perfumes for a very low price. And one of the perfumes I would recommend for every day would be this Fruity Honey perfume. What I really Really like about this perfume is that it is not overbearing with smell. I feel like for everyday perfumes you should have a scent that is very subtle. Um, I like floral for everyday, very warm perfume scents. When I smell this perfume, I think of somebody who just got out of the shower, somebody who smells very clean, like they just clean themselves. So this is definitely an everyday perfume. This is called Fruity Honey, and I really, really like this perfume. The top notes are green leaves, back currant, and the middle notes are honey, nectarine, base notes are peach and vetiver. So I really like this for every single day. And I really like how Dossier gives you a sample in your box so you can test out the scent before you even open it. If you don't like it, you could send it back. So I feel like that's very convenient. And this perfume is inspired by a Jo Malone perfume. So the next perfume that I like from Dossier is the Spicy Vanilla Perfume. This is definitely an outing type of perfume. I wouldn't recommend this for every day, but I would definitely recommend this for a girl's night out, a date night, like this is a nighttime perfume for sure. So the top notes are, and what I like about Dossier is they put the notes on the front. So they have top notes, nutmeg, black pepper, lemongrass, middle notes, rose, patchouli, orris, base notes, vanilla, amber, open axe. So this perfume is inspired by a Tom Ford perfume. So I definitely recommend that you have this perfume in your collection. Definitely look at the Dossier side, see if you find any alternatives to perfumes that you really like that you pay a lot of money for because they have a lot of cheaper alternatives. So you don't have to even pay that much for a good smelling perfume. I will have a link of their website in the description box and my discount code will be down there as well so please check them out let me know message me on Instagram tell me what perfume you get and now I'll just jump into what I do for my shower routine now I have some shower routine videos already up I take a shower twice a day and I exfoliate once a week now for bath wash you want to make sure that you get a bath wash that smells really really good I always say to pair your scented bath soap to your lotion scent. So make sure they are very similar scents so it accentuates the type of scent you are going for. Now, what I've been loving lately, and this is from Target, this is called Hey Humans, and I really, really love how it's aluminum. It's super environmentally friendly, and this is the first product that I've ever used by them and I actually really really like it. This is in lavender and vanilla. I really like vanilla because that is just a type of scent that you have that is very neutral, very good for every day. It is very a subdued type of scent. So it has jojoba seed oil and essential oils. It's vegan and cruelty free. I have very very sensitive skin so if you guys also have sensitive skin you know my struggle we can't use all of these fragrances all of that stuff we can't use stuff like that because we will break out like I am very eczema prone and this hasn't given me any trouble I also like the native body wash if you guys have watched my other video I don't remember what video child but I used to use the native deodorant and personally I really really liked it at first like I wasn't lying when I said I really liked it by the way this is in coconut and vanilla so you see how much I like vanilla but I used the deodorant by native and y'all at 
first I really really liked it but over time I started getting these rashes in my armpits like it would just be red rashes and I even asked like my best friend if she's been having any problems with it because she's the one who recommended it to me and she told me her mom also got rashes from their deodorant which sucks because I loved native deodorant I just think that I have super super sensitive skin and for some reason, their deodorant isn't good on my skin. But for the body wash, I haven't had any issues and I've been using this for a long time. So if you do have super sensitive skin, I don't really recommend getting your deodorant, but their body wash is fine for me. So what do I use for deodorant? I have been using the Dove Even Tone. It's Calming Breeze. And this is a 48 hour protection. I don't know. I feel like this is a really good deodorant. It smells really good too. It's not overbearing. Before Native, I used to use men's deodorant and you you know if you know that smell could be really loud. This is not a loud smell. Like I said before, this does not break me out and I feel fine using this every day. No rashes, nothing. So if you do have sensitive skin, maybe you want to try out this Dove deodorant. Now, once a week, I do use an exfoliator. Like I said before, I use the Raw Sugar Sugar Scrub. This is an exfoliant you put all over your body and I have an exfoliation routine if you want to check that out to see how I exfoliate my body. But I also love Raw Sugar Body Wash. If you could get the exfoliator and you could get the body wash paired with it, you will smell like heaven. Like you will smell so good. This is raw coconut and mango. I try to do this every single Sunday. Sundays are my self-care days. So that's when I try to do it. And doesn't it look so good? Uh, I love Raw Sugar. Raw Sugar is one of my favorite brands that I found in Target. But yeah, this is also cruelty free and vegan. And basically an exfoliator is good for removing dead skin cells from the top layer of your skin and to regenerate new skin cells. So that is the benefits of exfoliating. Exfoliating also makes your skin look super glowy, super dewy. It just takes out the dullness of your body so that is the reason why you should be exfoliating at least once a week moisturize your body you should have either a really good body butter or have a very moisturizing type of a lotion I like to use both it just depends every single day I will use a lotion and I do like the Johnson Johnson baby lotion it's never given me any problems with my eczema for body butter, I do like the Jador Dior body butter. This has lasted me a really, really long time. This is more of a outing type of body butter. Like you wouldn't use this really every single day. You would want to use this going out on a date, going out to a nice restaurant. But the smell is so good like the whole entire Jador Dior line is a super good line to smell good all day so I do recommend that body butter like to have in your collection so something really important you ladies need to pay attention to is what type of laundry detergent do you use make sure you get a really good laundry detergent that makes your clothes smell like heaven when you have a good laundry detergent and all of your clothes smell really good you could definitely be one of those types of people who people kind of recognize you by your scent. They're like, wow, you smell so good. Because when it sticks to your clothes, it's way better. Because sometimes perfumes and lotions can wear off throughout the day, but when you have really good smelling clothes, it trumps all of that. So, what do I use? I use this Ultra Downy detergent. I also have another detergent. It is for newborns. <laughs> and I recommend that too if you have sensitive skin. But this hasn't given me any problems, and this is the downy detergent, and I basically use this for my laundry, and I have boosters too. So what are detergent boosters? Basically, these are just little beads that you put in your laundry, and when you put it in your laundry, it boosts the smell. So this scent, this is new by the way, because I just ran out of my 
booster. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks if you've never seen boosters before. They're literally just little beads. Little beads you put in your laundry. So it is an odor defense. This scent is an April Fresh. They have a couple of other scents, I think. This is the only one. No, actually, I think I've used, they have like a cotton scent I think I've used before. But I really like this. So you see in the back, it says that you fill it to the middle line in the cap. I'll show you guys. So you see in the cap, it has all of these lines. So you're going to fill it. What I like to do is I like to fill it according to how much laundry I have in the washer so for the lowest I just put it this line for the middle that line so like that's kind of what I do um, for the middle and large I put it in the middle line but make sure you use a booster because it will immediately have all of your clothes smelling super super good after you take it out of the laundry you also want to use a really good dryer sheet to pair with your detergent and your booster to just have that overall amazing smell for your clothes and that is basically all you have to do to smell good every single day it's really not that hard you just have to stay consistent with your products make sure if you really want to smell like a specific scent make sure everything has those scented notes in it so like let's say your body butter is lavender your body wash is also lavender detergent lavender you get what i'm saying so if you want to smell like something specific make sure everything is similar so you can smell like that if you don't care you just want to smell good mixing scents is not a big deal you will smell good regardless that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye